Hey everyone, welcome to Tesla's lab. Um, I saw a Gen 8 OU tournament starting in the overused room. These typically get a lot of players and I am going to bring my monotype team and see how we do in this OU tournament. So it's gonna be a mono versus OU tournament. And I, I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so we're, that's what we're gonna do for the video today. But before we start our video, I just wanna bring attention to the fact that we have 15 boosts and we have reached level three in our Discord and we only have 250 members. That just really, in my opinion, goes to show the passion of these members in such a small community to reach level three is, I mean, I've never heard of that. I'm in quite a lot of, you know, discords. Um, and the discords that reach level three typically have thousands of members, thousands and thousands of members. And I've never seen one with as few members as ours who have reached level three. And what that shows me is that these members, you know, the, the mods too, are just so passionate and committed and they love the, the cord and that just really makes them motivates me and that's very exciting to see i never thought that we would reach that so i just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge all the boosters um who have you know made this server what it is so going back um so currently the tournament is at 31 users so it may take a few minutes since they usually are very big tournaments um to recruit other players so i thought in the meantime we could just play one rat pack game um, and this Rat Pack game will be in a 1600 ELO account because I don't feel like changing my, my profile in the middle of the tournament. So we are on the Tesla Lab YouTube um, profile, which has an ELO of 1600 and a GXC of 85.1. So we're going to be playing some high ladder, high-ish ladder, you know, mid up, mid upper with the Rat Pack team. So we'll see how we do. We're just going to play one game while the tournament is getting set up um, just for fun. Totally don't expect to win. All right, got to fight it. A fire team should be a challenge, obviously. <laughs> okay. Um, it's gonna tell him good luck. Okay. So, let's see here. I'm expecting the big teeny lead. It's usually the lead. Sometimes you see a um, setup heatran. So if it is the Fictini lead, it's usually Scarfed U-Turn. Scarfed U-Turn. I think a good play would be to bring in the Toga de Maru. However, if he is Heatran. Yeah, I think Toga de Maru is the play. It is Heatran, unfortunately. We're going to go ahead and endeavor this anyway. Um, despite the fact this is this this he may burn me here. Oh, and he Magna Storms me, which is very bad. So I will lose Token and Maru. But luckily, we also kind of kill Heatran, which is a huge threat. So, yeah. Let's put up Electric Terrain, just in case. Okay, he does attacks. Um, I think now would be a good time, actually, since it's not Scarf to get more Peko going, right? Maybe he'll play poorly and we can get more Peko getting some speed. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm hoping he protects here, actually. He doesn't. So I'll get the speed boost. Now, if he's smart, he'll bring in probably Volcarona. Cinderace. I'm not sure what he's going to do with Cinderace. He dies, right? I outspeed him, unless he's Scarf. Oh, he's Scarf. That's why he brought it in. Um, Let's just keep attacking because I don't think I have a good switch in. Yeah, he kills me. Okay. Yeah. Victini. Oh, our match is ready in the OU tournament. Okay. I'm going to be playing this match kind of... Uh, not as in intensely because the, it's, this is just for fun, but the OU match is where we're at. So, oh, I almost used the wrong team. Oh, uh, uh, one sec. Okay, I almost used a testing team. Okay, cool. So let's finish this match. Um, we his bikini probably isn't scarfed. I do see one way we can win this match actually. Um, 
Oh, he used a mono team too. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh my gosh. Wow. He used a mono team too. That's so funny. Oh man, that's really funny. All right. Um, oh, he is Scar 15. Holy crap. Okay, let's just do that one plan I had um, where I could win. So, first, let's nuzzle. Okay. Um, okay. Let's lead with Regilecki. Yeah, because I just wanted to make sure I outspeed anything he puts in. So I don't know if this thing's scarf or what what have you. So we'll see. Did I live this? Yes, easily. Let's get the terrain up and let's U turn. Okay. Volt switch. I'm going to volt switch away. See what he does. Ooh, I did a lot. Okay. Do I need Rotom? I do. Um, what, what, what don't I need? Probably, probably Zare. I mean, I need Zare, but I, I think he can tank whatever this thing has. Okay. Um, let's Plasma Fist. Brings in the Clef Key. That's fine. Now we can Volt Switch away to zone. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So we U-turned. Great. I think we should go to Pikachu. Scorching Sands. Perfect. I kind of wanted to die. All right. Great. Now I have, because I have more turns with terrain now. Um, I'm going to Rising Voltage and kill. Although I'm not sure if this thing's how bulky this thing is, you know. Okay, let's focus on the real match. Um, okay. Oh, great play. Great fucking play. Okay, it's dead. Sweet. Scarfed. It was scarfed. Um, this goes to Volcanion. That dies. So he still has that Sucker Punch, I'm guessing. But we know it's scarfed, right? We know it's scarfed. Um, so let's nuzzle. And we get another electric terrain. Oh! Well, we tried. <laughs> GG. All right, let's play the real game now. Okay. So he brings in this. Um, I'm a little bit worried about it. I think he's going to use priority. So I'm just going to switch to zone, expecting the priority attack. Yes. So now we're free to attack with Flash Cannon. I really respect this. Like, I entered an OU tournament, and this um, Dr. Elite is, in, is, in, is a monotype player. I know him in the community, and he had the same idea as me. Let's see how my monotype team does against OU, and I, I love that. That's really awesome. So we have two choices here. We can just finish this off and deal with that light screen that's going to come, or we can set up. I don't want to do that though, because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't want to have three layers of, of um, spikes on me. So I'm just gonna flash can it, and kill it, and just deal with the fact that there's light screen. Can always get rid of it with defog if I really need to. And I still have scarf rotom, so we're in good shape here. Well, I don't know what this thing's gonna do. Um, I don't think this thing will set up, right? I think it's just going to use Flamethrower. It's going to use Flamethrower. So let's switch to Rotom. Maybe even get a Defog. A free Defog. Um, I, think I'll just, I think I'll just Volt Switch. Oh, he stays in. Let's go to Tapu. Get some terrain up. I don't know what he's going to do. Beakling? Or a Sphere. Okay, that works for me. I think we can Volt Switch now to Zapdos. Maybe even Rotom. Let's go to Rotom. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we can Volt Switch away. We just wasted all those turns of light screen. And now we're going to bring Zara in because there is no Reflect Up. I think he's going to bring Comfy in. He's probably going to bring Comfy in. Oh, that was the last turn of Reflect. Did he not have um, White Clay? Surprised. No matter. So we could just bring zone back in just like before right oh he sets up he sets up 
flash cannon. Let's see how much that does. That does a lot. Let's just keep doing that. I don't think he can really do much. Oh, he has synthesis. That only has seven more PP, though. That's fine. He can't do that forever. Yeah, he's, I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Oh, that was a good play. Let's keep doing attacking. Oh, I just need one crit or a drop or something. Damn. I got a drop. That's good. Oh. I put myself in a really bad situation thinking um, Flash Cannon was going to do a lot more, but I got I it bailed me out with the crit. To be fair, I guess I did have like six. How many turns to get that crit? Quite a lot. Uh, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I did have 13 turns to get it, so. Yeah, the odds were pretty good I would get that, but I got in the, in the absolute nick of time, right? Let's go get the uh, the, the uh, terrain back up and see what this thing does. It's subs. It's Volt Switch. Let's go to Zera. Thinking Calm Mind, maybe? Just subs again. Subs again, huh? Subs again. What's this thing gonna do? I'm a little worried, actually. Okay, let's um, let's full switch. Go to Zapdos, okay? Or even Rotom. That might be. Uh, does Rotom still have Scarf? I might need Rotom Scarf. Let's go to Let's go to Zapdos. I don't know what this thing was doing. Something like this. Calm mind now. And now it's dead. Okay. So I think the play now is to go to Rotom and quickly uh, Choice Scarf. Trick Choice Scarf. Yes. No shenanigans. No more shenanigans. Everything sets up in this team. Jeez. All right. So it should attack now. He should expect the uh, trick. Okay. Let's Volt Switch away. Although we might outspeed. Yeah, we do. So good thing we didn't Volt Switch. Why did I heal? Oh, the wiki berry. Interesting. Let's keep attacking. Wow. She's taking forever to kill me. Okay. Let's get to Reyna and set up that um, rising voltage win. GG. GG. All right. First game one. That wasn't actually OU. But all the other games should be. Good game, Dr. Elite. All right, so let's go and spectate. Although I'm not sure if scouting is allowed in OU. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I was so upset. I was recording earlier today this Gen 8 monotype tournament, this 64-man tournament. I ended up getting to round four um, until I, I lost against... Um, it's funny, I lost against a Swift Swim water team, and a lot of people, a lot of less experienced people, I would say, or people who aren't experienced with monotype, think that electric has the advantage over water, particularly Swift Swim water, which is the most common variant of water. Um, but that's absolutely not true. And Selu, who is a very uh, good player and uh, very good mind in the game as i've said before um let me just turn my game down a little bit uh even acknowledge this like swift some water has a massive advantage over electric so many mons can absolutely ohko and outspeed all of electric it's an incredibly hard battle to the point where i could know every single move some of these players will do if they have a swift swim water team especially if it has kingdra and I still can't win. So I actually I made a I made a um, a Heliolisk team um, to hopefully deal with that. So we're gonna be testing it out for another video. Anyways, I uh, I had this one battle in that tournament versus this very very difficult um, Lightning Rod Marowak 
Scarf Cinderace team, and it was such a good battle. Like, there were so many predicts, so many mind games. It was just an insanely good battle, but my audio, my mic was not working. So I'll save the replay. Oh, I don't even, I don't think I even saved the replay, but I have the recording of it, but I don't have the commentary. It's just me like blabbering with no audio. So I was, it was really unfortunate because I, I thought that that battle was so good. Um, maybe I will do a video where I have that battle and I just comment over my commentary, but like, you know what I mean? Um, just because it was, it was so many mind games. It was a great battle. Um, anyways, let's go find this where we are see if we can scout. I don't think scouting's really gonna do much good in OU. We're not gonna be changing our team to counter. I think scouting's fine. I just don't think I don't think C teaming is necessarily fine. I think predicting what your opponent will do and choosing your your team based on that is perfectly okay. But going in and looking and then changing your team to counter what you're looking at, that's disrespectful and it's not honorable at all. Oh, we can scout. Sweet. So we're watching Joe Biden, president of the United States, versus Seabass, I Seabass, that name looks familiar. Oh, is that a mono team? No, 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 it's not. Okay. I just saw I saw the Pelipper in the um. I always forget this mon's name, Barascuda, and I just immediately thought mono team. That's funny. No, it's a generic rain team. Oh, you do rain team. Looks like it's gonna win too. Oh yeah, this this would be a scary team for me to face. Actually, is that who we're facing? Oh boy. I think we can win. It doesn't have a ground. Actually, no, it looks fine. It doesn't have a ground Pokemon, so I'm not too, too worried. Um, we just got to deal with that bear Scuda and we're, we should, we should have a, a good shot. Yeah. If that had like a Gastrodon, I would be really worried, but yeah. just turn my gain down a little it's giving me an alert telling me uh my gain is too high still kind of figuring everything out maybe i'll put the mic a little bit farther away and then just turn my gain back up okay sorry if the audio is bad I'll probably fast forward a little bit. Wow, I did not expect that. All right. So we're not against the team I thought we were going to play. Uh, he did a comeback victory, and now we're playing Joe Bidem. Here we go. Okay, uses a different team. Um, this team looks more dangerous. I think it's a different team, right? No, it's the same team. He uses the same team. Okay. We're not going to scout. We're not going to look at it at a... Like what move sets he had. I all in all I remember really is that this thing sets up. This Su Su Suicune sets up. Um, and you know how bad I am at Pokemon pronunciations. I'm not even sure if Suicune's right, but um, I was just told that's how you pronounce it. But I, for the longest time, <laughs> pronounced it Suicine, <laughs> which just shows like how awful I am with pronunciations. Okay. Um, somebody recommended that I do like go through every single Pokemon in the decks and give my pronunciation of that Pokemon. I think that would be really funny for a video. <laughs> I feel like half of them would be completely wrong. Okay. All right, let's see here. Uh, he's probably going to lead with Tornadus. He's probably going to lead with Tornadus. What else could he lead with? I guess he could also lead with Heatran. Um... I'm going to lead with Zara. 
which I think handles both of those pretty well. Neato. That's fine. I want to knock off. Get rid of that ore. Maybe he'll... Oh, he just attacks. I, I tank it. Another knockoff. I just really want to damage this thing. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. I think we'll go for the E speed now. Hopefully he'll stay in. He does stay in. Great. I think he, go to, I think he goes to Gastro now. He doesn't. Goes to Heatran. Okay. Oof, I critted him. Nice. Fantastic. All right. Let's go to Rotom. Tank whatever this guy's going to do. Just Toxics. Let's go to Zapdos, expecting the Protect. That was weird. That was a weird play. Okay, that was a strange play. But he would do that to a... To a um, I have to keep this alive. I have to just hope that Roost... That I hope... I gotta hope that I live here. I do live. Nice. Tornadus is a very fast mon, it's a very good mon, has a really good ability, but it's just, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It does the knockoff crits, but it doesn't even get close to killing me. And I heal up. Um, Let's go for a Hurricane. I think I'm expecting the Gastrodon switch. I am expecting the Gastrodon switch, and I completely miss Hurricane. So, yeah. I think I'm expecting a Toxic. So I'm going to switch to Skull, that's fine. I'm going to switch to Rotom. Now I'm going to Trick. I think he's just going to stay in. He does just stay in. It's Defog. Let's get rid of those rocks because we did lose our boots for Zapdos. So we need to get rid of those rocks. Clear Smog? Um, okay. Do we want to sack this or do we want to keep it alive? I'm going to Volt Switch just in case he switches. He doesn't, and I sack it. Okay. So let's go for the Grass Knot. Um, I think Hurricane would, was the better play. I misplayed. Goes to the Buzzwall. Takes a crap ton of damage from that Grass Knot. Um, I don't think I need Zone for anything. Not Sack Zone. He might even Stone Edge here. Ooh, he goes to the Gastrodon. I think an Iron Defense. Um, please don't burn. Can't even look. Iron defense, and then now body press does like half, which is great. Yeah, it does do half. If I live one more, don't burn. Oh my god. Now he's just gonna heal. Now I gotta go to now I gotta go to this. Goes to Buzzwall. Ugh, disgusting. At least he didn't heal. I mean that's close combat, right? Sweeken. Oh boy. Okay. Now I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try to set up, right? So we need to do something about that, don't we? He's going to sub. He comes to sub. He just stays in. Let's Volt Switch. Go to Lucky. We live. I think we should explode. Now, let's Rising Voltage. Imagine if I exploded there. It's Rising Voltage again. Okay. Now we explode and win. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. What a strange switch. Hmm. I think I outspeed with Zapdos here. I kind of I kind of need Zapdos to be in. I don't. What is this? Pulse. I should have realized because it, it took so much damage from Grass Knot. I should have realized. It does switch to this. So if I hit this Hurricane, I win. It doesn't even get close. That's crazy. Confuse. Confuse. Fuck yeah, man. Yes! Yeah, come on! Yes! Oh, that was... 
That felt good. I so Gastron is actually my least favorite Pokemon. Um, I absolutely hate, hate Gastrodon. I have nightmares about Gastrodon. I would, if I could kill a single Pokemon in a in a brutal, an absolutely brutal way, I would absolutely choose to kill Gastrodon. I I hate Gastrodon. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet. We still could lose. Die. Good. Okay, I think we win. Tough game. Tough game. Whew. All right, we're in the semis. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Semi. Uh, quarterfinals. Okay, we're in the quarterfinals. All right, the game is ready. Okay, this looks pretty tough. Mainly, we got to get rid of that guard chomp. Hi. Got to get rid of that guard chomp. Got to keep Magnazone very healthy. I like your team. Thank you. Um, what else do we need to do? We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful that Aura Veil. That could be really dangerous combined with like a setup um from either any of his Pokemon. I think that's his his plan. He Aura Veils and sets up something. I'm expecting that Heatran to be the lead. All right, I think I'm going to uh, expect the Heatran or the Ninetales lead and go Rotom. I would love to trick. Okay, I would love to trick this right now. That would be awesome. Hoping he goes Aura Veil. That would be great. Although I don't outspeed unless he's, yeah. I tricked it, which is great. So now I can defog it away. Oh, good play. Good. Oh my goodness. What an amazing play, actually. He just encored. So now I got his cloister choice scarfed, which is cool. Um so let's go to zone. You just sell <laughs> He just shell smashed while he was choice scarfed. Okay. Um what's he gonna switch to? Probably Garchomp. Is it worth flash canning or should I switch? Um, he may even switch to Heatran. Let's just let's just go uh Tapu Koko, expecting the oh Sizer? Hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's full switch to Zapdos, I'm thinking. Let's just hard switch to Zapdos. I don't want to get stuck with a Volt switch. Um, he Swords Dances. That's fine. That's Heat Wave. He may, even, he may even switch here, not wanting to die. Bullet Punches. That's fine. Please kill. Doesn't kill. I'm going to Roost up. Wow. Great play. Roosting again. We pull... He does Bullet. Perfect. Okay, um, do I, let's, let's discharge. Good. I expected him to attack, uh, knock off attack or set up. Okay. Brings in this, um, we could just hard switch to Tapu. That's the play. Hard switch to Tapu. Uh, I can't deal with a sword stance or a, uh, a scale shot. That's scary for me. I don't... I don't know what this thing's going to do, but I, I I don't want to find out. Let's see. Yep. Okay. We made the good play there. So now we can D-Gleam. He'll probably switch to Heatran, but let's just D-Gleam. Oh, he switches. To, this is even great. This is even better, because now we can 2 it KO this huge threat. If he does, I hope he stays in. He probably will switch to Heatran, but I don't want to risk that Aura Veil going back up. Nice. Huge threat out of the way. Huge threat out of the way. Okay, so we nullified his Cloister. This thing is not Scarf, which is great for us, this Heatran. Garchomp, we have his number. It's a scale shot. Probably a sword stand scale shot set, so we gotta be careful. 
And then Pult's our last threat, and we have a full health Magna Zone. Things are looking very good. Magna Storm tanks it. Okay. Let's go ahead and Hydro. Brings in the Cloister. Hit the Hydro. Um... I think he, he has two possible good plays here. He could just kill my my Rotom, a fine play. I think that's I think that's what he's going to do. I would I would say seventy five percent sure he's going to just attack. But something tells me he's going to hard switch to Heatran. He doesn't. Okay. So he kills Rotom. So I'm going to now switch. Hmm. I don't really think I need Zara at, at full health, so I'm just going to um. I'm gonna close combat, just in case he switches to Guard Chomp. I want to do some damage on that that guy, and I will kill with close combat. I do not care about the... Uh, oh, I outspeed. I did not expect that. Should have bolt switched. Although, I did sort of expect the guard chomp. So I, I'm thinking he'll scale shot here, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to close combat. If he scale shots, it's fine, actually. Ah, yes. Okay. Cool. So now we can... We may need to predict this and go volt switch here. Oh my god. I was thinking he was thinking what I was thinking. <laughs> we like, I, I was going to Volt Switch expecting the Heatran, which was the clear play, but I felt like I felt like he was backed against a corner and he needed to make something happen, and that was his way of making it happen, was predicting my predict. So I went one step ahead and predicted. He's a good player, like he's playing very well, so I'm 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 I expected the good play. That was a very smart play up by his part, and I I just, um, okay, so I need to keep zone alive. Um, I'm going to sack Zapdos. Sack the Zapdos. All right. I think the play now is... Let me think. Yes. Volt switch here. Sack, Tapu. And then win. We are in the semis of the OU tournament. Tough battle. A really tough battle. I love playing OU. These, I feel like I gain the respect of these players um, by doing well with a monotype team. They are, they just never see this, you know, and they're 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 very um, taken aback by it. That an OU, that a monotype team can do so well in, in OU, which it can. I've been ranked in the top one, not a 100. I think I haven't gotten that far, um, but I think I've been ranked in the top like 200 with just using monotype in OU in the OU ladder. Um, that's going to be a new series. I haven't I haven't laddered OU like consistently using mono in like a year and a half, um, but I really do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. So I might. Oh, we're ready for the semifinals match. Okay. Here it goes. So we got a rain team. If we got this, if we can get rid of this guard chomp, we should be Gucci. Oh, this, this is what I was talking about. This um, Kingdra with rain. Oh my goodness. Um, incredibly powerful. Hopefully we can we can outplay this. Okay. I think we should lead with either Tapu or. 
or Rotom. Maybe even... Maybe even Zapdos, because Zapdos... Mm. I'm expecting either the Garchomp or the Pelipper. And I think Zapdos handles either of those, but so does... So does top. So does top over Zapdos. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let's just go to Zapdos. Okay, Pharaoh. Even better. Even better. Now we can have an easy heat wave. He may expect that though. Let's just test. Let's feel it out. Let's just use our heat wave. He just goes the Garchomp, which is fine. Maybe we'll get a burn. Really mess him up. Okay. Leftovers Garchomp. Let's go to Hurricane. We hit the Hurricane. So now he has to switch. Let's go for another hurricane. This will be a huge threat out of the way if we can hit this hurricane and he stays in. He stays in. Do we hit the hurricane? We do. Oh boy, this is a gift. This is a great gift. Um, I'm just gonna discharge. Goes to Zapdos, it's fine. I'm expecting the thunder. I'm going to go to uh, Zera, Zera to absorb the thunder. Great play, but I think I'll outspeed. I think it's a Specs, right? So I will, uh, I will Plasma Fist. Yeah. Brings in the King Drum. Uh, I think we should sack this. Bring us close to Surf. Cool. Easy Volt Switch. You'll switch to uh, Barrow. Ah, oh, he stays in. Okay. Oh. It's OU, so rain lasts literally a billion turns. Oh, crap. Now we're in trouble. I didn't think of that. I was thinking in mono, you that, that, mm, that's banned in mono. Shit. Okay. Shit, shit, shit. See how Surf does almost half to Rotom? What, what is that? Also, why is Rain lasting this long? That's so ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. Rain should not last this long. It really, really shouldn't. Okay, we got a sack Rotom, unfortunately. Okay. Brings in the Pharaoh, obviously. We think we lose. I think we lose. Unfortunately, uh, like I was saying, oh. Okay, we we actually have a chance. We have a no, we don't, because it's eight turns of rain. Eight. He brings in her Shifu. Para? No? Right? Do we win? Oh my god. If this... If this is not Aqua Jet, which it may not be, we will win this game. Tells me this thing lives a rising voltage though. Can't even look. Well, either way, I think we did good. Wow, two percent. We would have won. Whew. All right, GG. They they got to do something about this this Kingdra. It's so powerful. It's just impossible to deal with it really is like i don't know 
I, I really feel like it's just it's just too powerful. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. it. It's just so fast. It outspeeds Regilecki in water. Um, it OHKOs. I don't want to say like my entire team. It does OHKO my entire team. I don't want to be like, oh, because it OHKOs my entire team, it should be nerfed or something. It's just, I don't know why everyone doesn't use this. It's just so insane. It, if I was running a water team, I would absolutely use Kingdra. It's incredibly powerful. Okay. Anyways, I thought we did really well. We got really close there, literally 2%. I don't know if, if that was a roll or uh, what, but 2% away from winning that game, uh, we would have gotten to the finals. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you are seeing <laughs> and you want to support me, uh, go ahead and subscribe and tell your friends about the channel. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Hey everyone, here's the battle that I was mentioning earlier. Um, the audio actually did work for this battle commentary, so I'm just going to show it in its entirety. Um, the audio actually cut out later, so it wouldn't be a standalone video on its own, but I just figured I showed this one battle, which I thought was a, a really cool battle. Um, so without further ado, here you go. Oh, here we go. Round three. All right. This, ooh, this is, this is going to be tough. So this particular team... Fire in general is a pretty neutral matchup for Electric, um, but this particular team with the uh, Volt Absorb Marowak, uh, sorry, Lightning Rod Marowak, and this probably Scarfed Cinderace, this particular setup is, oh, and the, and the um, Volcarona, this particular team is extremely difficult for Electric to beat, judging from experience. This is a scary team. This may even be Trick Room, which would be doubly bad so i'm a little bit nervous here um we gotta get rid of this marowak stat that's the biggest threat okay he goes to volcarona if i can trick this if i can trick this volcarona i don't think he stays in i think he switches but i'm i have to go for this that would be huge if i can trick this if he's smart he switches to really anything <laughs> Except maybe Marowak. Uh, just stay in. Yes. Okay. Don't attack. Set up. Okay. We're gonna be, we're gonna go one step ahead now. We're gonna predict the Marowak switch. Okay. Oh, he may go to Nine Tails too. I think he's gonna go to Nine Tails. Yes. Okay. We're playing really well. Playing really well. All right. What's the play now? I think the play now is to go to Zero. Mm. Zeriora, 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 Zeriora. I think the play now is to go to Zeriora. Um, we can Volt. Oh, sorry, we can Plasma Fist, and I think kill Ninetales. And outspeed. And even if he does switch, we can retaliate with knockoff. I think we do kill. I really hope we kill. Okay, come on. What are you going to do? There's no water. Okay. I'm going to refill my water. After this play, I will take a break. Oh, come on. Die, 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 die. There we go, man. Let's go. Now bring in that Marowak. Bring in the whack. I don't think he will, but that's the... Oh, okay. All right. I probably should sack something. Um... Yeah, I'm going to sack. I'm going to sack a zone. I don't want to take any needless damage here. Dies in one hit. It's fine. Oh, he gets the boost. That's dangerous. Oof. I should have thought about that. Hmm. Okay, we put ourselves in a little bit of an awkward situation here. Um, we think. This sun is so annoying. The issue is that Marowak just nullifies Lecky. It just nullifies Lecky. I can't even use it. Um, until it's dead. I could try to scare him out with the Rotom. Bolt switch. He probably won't ret retreat. He probably won't, but 
what else am I going to do here? Let's full switch and hopefully he doesn't get that boost and we can get, get him out with Zeriora. Or maybe even go Lecky and just explode. If he's stubborn and doesn't want to switch. Something tells me, something tells me uh, he stays in though. Stays in. Don't get a boost. Okay. So. Uh, I think we should just kill this. I'm not going to play games. No games. Please die. Okay. Don't burn. Don't burn. All right. We gotta keep this alive. We gotta keep it alive. Let's go to Rotom. Maybe he'll sucker. Yes. Okay. Now we can know whether this thing is choiced or not, right? Because if it switches, it's choiced. If it kills me, then we can retaliate. Okay. Okie doke. So we know its speed is 370. Let us play. Let's do something really wild here, huh? Let's predict the sucker. This is bad. He's going to switch to Marowak, isn't he? But, but that, that would be okay if he does, actually. I just got the sun. The sun is horrible. Sucker. Come on. Come on, sucker. Now we can attack. Let's go. <sighs> Mind games, man. We're still not completely safe. As long as that Marowak's alive, you know, we're in we're in deep trouble here. Alright. <clears throat> so we need Lucky to deal with Blazephalon. Uh what's the play? Let's go to Coco, right? Or Zap. Coco or Zap? Man, I don't know. Like, you would think sacking Zero, Zeriora would be good, but I don't know, man. How much time do I let? I have two minutes, I can think. Oh, man. Do I need terrain? I may, I may need terrain, that, so I don't... I don't I don't want to sacrifice. Let's go to Zapdos. Because we won't die in one hit. Boom! This is a ground move. Yes! Okay, now we get a free hurricane. We can hurricane anything now. Confuse? No? Okay, Poltergeist. I, that's fine. Tank it. Let's go for another hurricane. This was a tough team. This is a very tough team to beat. I'm proud of myself here. We sweep now. Um, all right, it's T Bolt. Using kill range, tricks me, GG. 